So the first thing we're going to look at is throwing some AutoCAD data into your Oracle spatial data. This one, this uh, bookmark here is AutoCAD to Oracle. I'm going to turn on my Oracle writer here so that you'll see my little uh, feature classes here come up and be enabled. And what we've got here is some water information data and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's take a, a look at this data because we're going to be working with it throughout the morning. Okay, so pretty standard AutoCAD stuff, right? A bunch of uh, line work, a bunch of um, text. So if we zoom in here, we can see that these red little blobs here are rather messy text done by whoever drew this particular diagram. So when you take this kind of data into Oracle, Oracle doesn't understand about text. So right away, you think you're going to lose that text information. When we load that sort of data into Oracle, what we do, and it's the same with SQL Server and uh, PostGIS also, none of them really understand text data. And so uh, when we take them into those major databases, what you get is a point feature, and we extract some of the useful information, like the actual text string, and we'll st store that for you in the database. Yeah. So, so we pull in text string, the rotation of the text, because you can see this text is turned on its side. And basically, when you're pulling stuff into your big databases, what you most likely are going to need to do is to put it back out again, back into AutoCAD. So there's a, a number of these kind of information about the data that you're going to want to store in your database so that next time when you pull it back out to AutoCAD, you've got that right information, right? Yeah, yeah because in CAD, they quite often use the presentation to encode you know, real information, whereas That's in the right. database, you want to put that in attributes. Yeah. That's right. So things like the uh, text rotation or the text height or the text string, that's very important. You can take those over and store them in your database as uh, user attributes. Um, in my case here, I also want to bring in color and layer. So it's very easy for me to modify my uh, Oracle and add some additional attributes like color, which is going to be an integer type field. So I've got all the types, the data types here that Oracle will support for me. And then layer. Again, pick a different kind of uh, data type based on the fact that I'm writing out to my Oracle database. So as I add attributes to my um, destination table, then I can connect up information coming from my source and uh, store that into my database in its, in its correct places. Mm -hmm. So that's the sort of way we might handle text when we're writing to an enterprise database. Now, if I had an existing scheme in a database, could I just load that into work, Workbench and then just use that? Absolutely. And we even have up on our writers here, we can import a feature type. So when you bring it in from, you know, okay. the yeah. DBA has got a very fixed idea of what his uh, database table should look like. Yeah. And we can bring that in for you. And so there's uh, various other things here too. We've got line work here. Well, the line work will come across. We have a bunch of attributes on that line work. And that also will go into a separate table. And then uh, the third thing that we saw in our, our data here were these little nodes where we've got water meter information. And so these little nodes will also get taken in to our database as point features. Uh -huh. So we see these water nodes here being. Uh, being so you renamed the tables too as it was brought yeah, in. Yeah, we renamed the tables that was brought in. And we want to save information like the block name that was used for that water node, so, uh, water meter, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And so again, we expose the different format attributes and take them across into our database. Of course, while those things are red, nothing is going to happen. So we have to make sure that we connect them up so that data is actually flowing through our through our uh, ports there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got our Oracle databases over here, and if you take a look at my workspace here, I've got all kinds of uh, different connections going on. I've got a couple of instances of uh, Oracle happening, and I've got one more over here. And I wanted to publish the password so that the user didn't have to encode the password into my workspace here. So that when I do a prompt and run, I have to enter these passwords, right? Uh, yep. But the problem with this workspace is I've got to enter it a bunch of times, right? So yeah. is there any way I can get around having to do this, enter these passwords every time I run this workspace? Multiple times? Great question. I'm sure hoping there is. Well, I can do that here with these published parameters. So let, let me just get rid of the, uh, the default ones that come up. And we'll just create a published parameter that's going to ask for a database password. The nice thing about published parameters, we've even got a password option here. So when I type into that box, it's going to do the same thing that you would expect and hide the password from me. So let me give it a name and a, and a nice friendly prompt. Yeah. And we could give it a default value of Tom, for instance. 
And now if I go and run this workspace, you'll see that it just prompts me once for the, for the password. I can enter in the correct value. It, it's hidden from it, hidden from me, and uh, my, pass, my uh, workspace would run. Yeah. Except the problem was I didn't actually link my password through to that uh, right. published parameter. So one of the options I've got here is to link to a user parameter, yeah. and I can do that and pick up my password. Yeah. 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 OK, so let's just try running this workspace to make sure that all my uh, database connections are all working. And we'll take a look and see what happens. So as space runs, you get a log file here that's showing a whole bunch of stuff happening. Looks like things are going fairly well along here. It's uh, creating indexes for me. And if I go and take a look, I've got a SQL developer tool here that is a tool for looking at my Oracle database from an Oracle point of view. And so here are my uh, the three tables that I just created, water lines, water meters, and water nodes. And if we take a look at the columns of those tables, you'll see that we've got a geometry column here using the SDO geometry type, right? Yeah. And of course, we filled it up with a bunch of data. So we've got data in here.